Hey hello friends, in this video we are going to see what is HTTP Interceptor in Angular. So before we begin, if you are preparing for interview, you can follow me on LinkedIn. You can search for CV Vikash, you will find me over there. And let's begin. So what is HTTP Interceptor? A HTTP Interceptor is useful to modify the request and response of the API calls made from our application. So consider any Angular application, we have to make API call to fetch some information. Right, the data will be in the server. We have to make HTTP call to the server to fetch the information. So consider this scenario. If we want to modify all the requests going from our application, what we can do? One thing, we can go to our services and we can add some modification over there. Or we can write a HTTP interceptor which will automatically handle all the request and response. So we can modify before getting out of our application. So I'll draw a simple diagram and then we can write the code to see how HTTP interceptor works. So consider this is our Angular application. And this is the server. So what happens if you want to fetch some data, we have to make some API call to the server and server will respond back with the data, right? So we want to modify this request or the response. So if we want to do that, we can do that inside our services, right? So that is one place, but services are not global. So if you want to modify one single request, we can handle that inside our service, but consider global level. So if any request goes from our application has to be modified, has to be changed, or we have to add some more information to the request, what we can do. So we have to introduce something called interceptor. Once we add this interceptor, our API request will be going through this interceptor and will receive through this interceptor. So here we can write our own code to modify the request or response. So this is how the interceptor works. So how we can generate or create interceptor. So we can use Angular CLI to create HTTP interceptor. So the command is ng generate interceptor and we have to give the interceptor name. So Angular CLI will automatically create interceptor for us. So what are the uses of HTTP interceptor? So if our application having any authentication system, so we have to add a token to every request sent from our application to the server. So in that case, we can use HTTP interceptor. And also we can handle global logging, global loader, global error handling. So all these things can be done with interceptor. So now it's time to code and let's create an interceptor. So I'm going to create interceptor by using the Angular CLI. Now we have created an interceptor. So you can see here. So it is just a class which implements HTTP interceptor. So what happens? It is going to contain intercept method. So all the requests coming from our application and the response coming from the server will be going through this intercept method. So here we can add our logic to modify the request, right? So before sending to the next step, we can modify the logic over here. Okay. Now we'll go to our home component. So it is empty component and I'm going to make API call from this home component. I have already created a common service. You can find it in the previous videos. So I'm going to use this method to call this API. Okay. So first I'll inject this service inside our constructor, right? Home components constructor. And in on init, I'm going to call common service dot get data from API and I'm going to subscribe to this. So once after doing this, I'm saving this file and we'll see the output. So from home component, we are getting 200 records, which is coming from the API. Right, so we can verify that from the network tab. 
okay so we are calling this api and we are getting the response okay now here we can see a response header and we have a request header so request header is the information that client is sending to the server which means our code or our browser sending this information to the server consider i am going to add some more header here right uh, so we have user agent and origin and lot of other things right same way i want to add something called vikash and i am going to give some string as value okay so on every request i want to do that first i'll go to interceptor and i'm going to console this is interceptor okay so whenever this method goes through so we will console this is interceptor right let's see the console so the console is not working because we are not injecting this anywhere so to inject this interceptor we have to go to app module and under this provider we have to provide a new object so we have to provide http interceptor and we have to say use class and we are providing modify interceptor so what does this mean so whenever there is http interceptor provider use this class okay so instead of http interceptor use this class and we also pro have to provide one more argument which is multi it should be true okay so once after doing this so now you can find this is interceptor from modify.interceptor.ts file right so now our request is going through this interceptor so now it's time to modify the request so to modify the request what i'm going to do is i'm going to overwrite this request with a new request so i'm going to clone the existing request okay and in the header part i'm going to add the request dot headers dot set i want to set vikash and i want to send some token right so i'm typing some random token and now once i save this and if i see the network tab right so in this request header we can see a new key value pair is added right so every request will now contain this key value pair so i no need to add that individually in any services so this interceptor will take care of it okay so now how to add global error handler so for that we have this handle method right so this can be piped with multiple methods so we can use map which is coming from rxjs so i'll import that from rxjs slash operators and this will give the response and we are going to handle this response if response is instance of http response object then we can console response dot body okay and we can return response if not just return the response okay so whenever there is http response then we want to process this so i'm just going to console here okay and then we can try to modify this also okay so now let's see here we can see in modify interceptor line number 24 we are getting this response and also we are returning the same so that home component will receive the same response okay so now what i'm going to do is so i'm going to modify the response okay I'm going to clone the existing response with the current response and i'm just going to pick the first 50 records okay so now you can see in home component we are getting just 50 records because we are handling that here right so we have modified our response and then we are returning that but before modifying the actual response body is 200 records right so here we are modifying the response so how to handle the global error 
so we can use rxjs operator which is catch error and it is going to contain the error and we have to return empty observable from rxjs and here we can write some logic to handle global error so for now i'm just going to console the error okay okay so now you can see it is not going through any error so we have to modify the url we can give some wrong url so that it will throw some error right so here you can see modify interceptor line number 31 which is consoling the error right so this is how we can set up our interceptor and we can also add global loader so we can use some global service to set a flag that some loading is going on so i'm just going to add console to indicate that so here we can show loading and then here we can add finalize which is rxjs operator and here we can show loading done so instead of console we can just add the logic to set the flag true or false and we can handle in our application right so you can see here we are consoling loading and then we got the response and we are sending to the home component after that loading is done i hope this video was helpful